Hi, I'm Mike Alsop, the honeybee researcher at the Agricultural Research Council based in Stellenbosch. In 2019, I was fortunate enough to have SAMIC fund a, a, a honeybee project on macadamias, where we basically looked at the cross-pollination requirements of a number of macadamia cultivars, and also looked at the, uh, the honeybee foraging behavior in macadamias to see when bees needed to be introduced for commercial pollination and how long they stayed active on uh, actively foraging on macadamias. Um, historically, there has been a lot of um, debate and dispute about the cross-pollination requirements of macadamia cultivars. Um, there's a lot of literature, old literature, that suggests that macadamias are self-pollinating and do not need cross-pollination. And we have in South Africa many cultivars, many, uh, many blocks of single cultivar macadamias that have been planted with no provision being made for cross-pollination. Likewise, there's been a lot of debate over the years as to whether commercial honeybees or honeybees at all are needed for, for the pollination of macadamias. And most growers in South Africa have traditionally not used honeybees for commercial pollination. Um, the experiments that I did in 2019 were in Barberton, and I looked at five different macadamia cultivars. These were uh, Beaumont, um, A4, A16, uh, 816, uh, 816 and 814. Um, in each of the five cultivars, I had 20 trees and uh, we took racemes on, on each tree and we hand pollinated them with uh, pollen from each of the other cultivars as well as pollen from their own cultivar. And we also actually left some, some racemes fully bagged that didn't get pollinated at all. Um, and the results from these experiments were extremely clear. The, the uh, racines that were cross-pollinated uh, had a 600% increase in set in comparison to the um, self-pollinated racines or the racines that were not pollinated at all. From a grower's perspective, the results are abundantly clear. All the macadamia cultivars that we've looked at thus far require cross-pollination. They should not be planted in single orchard blocks. They should be planted with appropriate cross-pollinizers, which will greatly in increase their, their production. Um, likewise, uh, it, it is obvious that if you have trees that require cross-pollination, you also require pollinators. So honeybees or commercial pollinators of any sort, but in South Africa, that essentially means honeybees are obviously very important for, uh, for, for cross-pollination and to improve uh, crop production in macadamias. Um, the experiment that we did on the introduction of honeybee colonies into macadamia orchards to see how they behave and how they, how they forage was also very promising from the, per, from the perspective of the growers. We, brought, we took bees into orchards at the beginning of blossom and we assessed um, whether they remained actively foraging on their macadamias for uh, a period of up to four weeks. And the good news is that firstly, uh, honeybees are foraged for both pollen and nectar on macadamias, and that they actually become increasingly active on macadamias the longer they stay in. We had up to 80% of of all foragers were foraging on the macadamias four weeks after the colonies were introduced. From a grower's point of view, this means growers can introduce, can, can happily introduce colonies into, into uh, uh, macadamia orchards at the beginning of, of blossom and can trust that the bees will continue foraging on the macadamias right until the end of, of blossom. Um, in this coming year, I, I, I will be doing some more experiments also in the Barberton area and also around White River to further uh, develop on the, these results. Um, we will be looking at more cultivars to see what the cross-pollination requirements of, of them are and also assessing uh, further bee-related questions, which I hope will bring additional insights and, and value to the growers. Thank you.